Earth season, so it's Claude. I think I'll just run Claude every time it's Earth week. But uh, I got something new cooking up, but for this week it's still this. So let's see it. Okay. Uh, Edelgard Gale Force is not that useful here. Mainly because of the traps. She can avoid Hex Trap though. Um, but it doesn't look like she's getting extra movement. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh wow. Right, because she doesn't get auto double except for dragons. Alright, GG. As long as Claude can get Luna's off on Henriette, she's not a problem. The problem is that when she's backed up by, you know, like guard effects or um, Elamine, then it becomes a lot harder to kill her. GG. Ooh, Lethality Yuri. Oh my goodness. That's also a good Marissa. Elamine. And Fjorm. Yep. Oh. Very interesting bait. Not strong enough to kill that through Elamine. I don't know if there's anything strong enough to kill Fjorm through Elamine, other than Duochrom. Probably Duochrom is the only thing. And that's just because he ignores damage reduction with, like, instant Deadeye. Unfortunately, I don't have that. And now they're taking advantage of the structures I put in front to sort of Inconvenience people are now being used in the advantage to create a choke point. So the melee threats don't matter. And then Claude can just do Claude things. I'm pretty sure even if they could get onto them, then Marissa would still kill them anyway. That's a decently sized chunk of damage, but... Oh. Foul play means that... Claude is gonna die here, and Claude's outside the range of the healing tower as well. So it feels like he's gonna die. Yep, just enough. Can Marissa do that? Yep. No follow up. This Marissa is a mill follow up, right? Yeah. It's a lot of damage, but that Marissa is super invested. Kills Hector as well. Easy pickings. Not a bad, not a bad comp. GG. As long as Henriette doesn't have damage reduction, I'm not afraid of her. I moved one of the buildings from the bottom up to next to Tana so that it's harder to bait from that side.
Yep, Claude never dies there. The hard part is actually getting kill if there's too much support. Like, you would need something really huge to get over a properly supported far safe. GG. Big catapult. Let's see. Elamine. And special acceleration on Thor. Wait, does Fjorm not have... Oh, she has Bond. She doesn't have Stance. Okay. Wow. Oh, I get doubled? I guess because of the bond, huh? Wow, that was a very lucky snipe with wings. I feel like I wouldn't have won that if it weren't for that wings. Or if I, I, I think it would have been a wipe otherwise, GG. Another Elamine with Henriette. The the amount of Elamines there are, Elamine is very, very common, which is why I'm feeling like changing up this layout for Anima is the way to go. I feel like she's so common that, that I can't reliably kill or annoy Farsays or do enough damage for it to be significant and stick. Wow, that's a nice to do. And with a two threat team like this, uh, I need something, I need a little bit more. So I, I do get the Luna off there, but Claude doesn't do enough damage through Elamine's damage reduction to actually make it significant. And gets healed off by healing power. It's only 10 healing, but 10 healing is enough because there wasn't enough damage to begin with. Maybe another Luna? And then Corn takes us, right? Yes, true damage. GG. Sonia. I think it's pretty good, I feel like. Okay, this is a good save ball. There's no Elamine, though. So maybe Claude can still break through. Wait a minute. Hector doesn't have Distant Counter. He doesn't have Ostian Counter. Wow. Is that a mistake? Oh my goodness. I feel like Hector surviving that was pretty big. instead of a dance. <laughs> okay. GG. Oh, wow. A decked out Marth. Along with double damage reduction. Yeah, this was preordained. 
<laughs> There's no way I kill this Marth. They also position correctly too. They only use one damage reduction because there's a chance of the second one getting sniped. Wow, that's crazy. Literally, Hector was the only one that wouldn't have died there. Ouch. Ouch. Mmm, needed a little bit more damage somehow. Yeah, that's it. GG. So many save balls in a week. I thought that Claude was discouraging save balls because they can't really because no one really likes tanking Claude, but it does it doesn't seem like it's actually stopping anyone. This is probably Claude's worst case scenario. Not only does she have damage reduction from Elamine, she also has guard from Tan and Baton. So like Claude can almost never get through this unless he's the one getting danced. And because Tana is the one getting danced because she's because the dance gives debuffs, Claude doesn't get that opportunity. So maybe it's actually better if Tana doesn't get danced. I feel like I've said that before. Wow, Lyft living that is kind of surprising. Hector's not doing anything, but you know him doing anything is not expected. He's only there to be a far save and limit options on turn one. I guess it's effective enough that it makes people run save balls. Looks like it's over. GG, all things considered, not a terrible week, but it could be better.